So you're thinking about selling on whatnot, or you're already selling on whatnot and things aren't necessarily going the way that you would like them to go. But I'm here to give you the tips and tricks for you to be successful on whatnot. We just hit our one year anniversary on whatnot and it has been an absolute whirlwind. We have a little bit over 6,000 followers and we've sold a little bit over 4,000 items on whatnot. And there are tons of things that I wish I knew before selling on whatnot. So without further ado, here are the seven things that I wish I knew before selling on whatnot. So let's get into it. What is up beautiful people, it's your boy Ray and welcome to another episode of the Nashville Flippers. And guys, as you know, we have been selling on the WhatNot platform for a little bit over a year. We have over 6,000 followers, I've sold over 4,000 items on WhatNot and we have learned a ton along the way. So here are seven things that I wish I knew before starting WhatNot that's gonna help you become a better WhatNot seller. At number one, and the most, I mean, all these are gonna be super important, but number one is you cannot treat whatnot like any other reselling platform. It is its own animal, it is its own creature. It is something that I have never seen as doing this reselling thing part-time. I've been reselling for o over 10 years now, and whatnot has completely changed the way that you resell. So you can't treat it like any other reselling platform. You can't treat it like eBay. You can't treat it like Poshmark. You can't treat it like Mercari because it's its, its own beast. I would say it's 60% reselling platform, 40% social media site. You know, you see a lot of the sellers that are on here, they have these huge social media followings on Instagram or YouTube or TikTok or uh, Twitter and you see them become successful just because they have a big following, but that doesn't mean that you have to have a following to be successful on this WhatNot app. I've seen plenty of people that have no social media following that is absolutely killing it on the WhatNot platform. So with that being said, the way that you treat WhatNot that I've experienced is your sourcing opportunities have to be different than eBay or Poshmark or Mercari. Um, the way that you find items, the way you sell items, the way that you kind of have to have a very creative way to sell the items has to be different. But don't let this scare you because it's a platform that is unprecedented, unprecedented in my opinion. And it's still young. And if you work hard right now, you're going to reap the benefits so if you're scared about selling and whatnot, don't be because get on it. You're going to do awesome. So here are some other tips that's going to help you become a better seller on the WhatNot platform. A little sidebar before we get into the next tip. Check out this podcast right here. It's an interview that I did with Paul Philly Flipper and Jens Multiverse, which are amazing WhatNot sellers. They give so much value in this podcast episode that it is insane. Like it needs to be behind a, a paywall, but it's absolutely free. So here's the, here's the video. Click on it. Here's the banner. Click on that. Make sure you watch it after you watch this video. So let's get into number two. So the number two thing. I wish I knew before starting whatnot is giveaways. Doing consistent giveaways during all your shows, multiple giveaways during all your shows. Doing giveaways is a way for you to grow on whatnot. See, the thing about giveaways is that you put up the giveaway and then only people that are following you can enter the giveaway. So that's a good way to grow your numbers. Now the mistake that I made was why will I why would I do giveaways? Why would I spend the money on something just to give it give it out for free, right? I was more worried about saving money by not doing giveaways than not thinking long term. See, you got to think with what not you got to think long term, guys. Long term is the key for what not. Once you start gaining a following, 
um, the items that you put up for auction are gonna go for more and more money. So at first, your shows are gonna be, hardly anybody's gonna come to your show. So giveaways is a good way to build relationships, to build a community, and just kind of give back to the people that you see on your stream constantly. And that's a way for you to grow more followers on whatnot. And the good thing about whatnot is once you um, go live on a show, all your followers will get a, new, a little notification on their phone saying, hey, Ray with the Nashville Flippers is going live on whatnot. And then from there, you can click on it and they can come to your show. So giveaways, guys, all kinds of giveaways, buyer appreciation giveaways. I like to do three to four giveaways a show. So however you want to do that, you know, I've gotten to a point to where I just do gift cards because they're easy to ship and um, they're cheap to ship. So what I like to do is to do gift cards. So don't be afraid to do giveaways because that way you're gonna grow and you're gonna go quicker. I, I mean, we didn't do giveaways for a good, shoot, halfway, six months into our whatnot. We were completely against giveaways. At least I was against giveaways because again, why would I spend money? I'm trying to make money. Why am I trying to spend money and give something away for free? Huge mistake, do giveaways. Wish. I can't see. Is that all your wishes and stuff? Yeah. Let's see, what, what is that? Check it out. Nice little power bank, right? Uh huh. Boom. It's got a camera on it. What? It's a camera. It's like a spy it's like camera. A spy camera. Hmm. But it's a nice power bank. It's metal. It has some good That's weight to cool. it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Check this out. Look at this. Oh, snap. Isn't that crazy? That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's like a robot. Yeah. It's like a little wheel. So. I'm doing a, I'm recording a video, Dustin. Yeah. It's the, um, the seven things I wish I knew before selling on whatnot. So this is number three. So number three in the seven things I wish I knew about before, before selling on whatnot is inventory, right, Dustin? Yes. So inventory. inventory Load up on inventory. That's the thing. Whatnot is a very quick selling yeah. app. Yep. If you don't got a way to buy inventory quickly at a low cost, you might as well not even get in the game. I mean, we've, we've, we, you know, we got an Amazon stores. We're consistently going to off price yep. stores like Ross and Marshall's Burlington's and Ollie's and, um, other, other stores like that and thrift stores constantly. And we've even, dabbled into buying pallets to get more inventory in a quicker quicker way for a low cost so if you don't have something like that around you it's gonna be kind of hard to make money and you got to really you know consistently go to garage sales or thrift stores or what have you yes. as you can see here our inventory. inventory is bananas we're getting ready to do a show here in a little bit Who and so we have we like to do our shows. We like to sell a lot of stuff at our show. So we do a show each and every Saturday and um, we sell over a hundred items on our show. We get all kinds of inventory guys. Like you can see, we got a Retron five here. We have, you know, power banks, power banks, power banks, smart watches. If you don't have a way to get inventory on a consistent basis, it's going to be really hard to to sell on whatnot and that's one thing that i wish i knew starting off because we would run out of inventory and we finally are at a spot to where we can get consistent inventory at a reasonable rate as a reasonable cost and still make some money right dustin absolutely so the number four thing i wish i knew before starting whatnot is sub shipping supplies guys the amount of shipping supplies that you're gonna need to make this a successful business is absolutely insane. You gotta keep shipping supplies on hand at all times. I'm talking bubble mailers, I'm talking just regular poly mailers, boxes, USPS priority boxes, 
um, thermal label printers, um, thermal labels. Um, it's it's a lot of shipping supplies, and you gotta keep it. You gotta keep them in stock. If you don't keep them in stock, it's just gonna it's gonna be a nightmare when you go out and ship some stuff, because. It, depending on the amount that you do, of course, if you're selling like Lego minifigures or sports cards or Pokemon cards, it's not going to be that bad. But if you're selling things like we do, which are consumer electronics, it's interesting to say the least. But if you're selling like shoes or clothing, it's not that bad. But again, thing the consumer electronics that we sell, we always have to have shipping supplies on hand. So about six months into our whatnot journey, I just went ahead and got this rack, put all the shipping supplies that I need. It's ready to rock and roll. If we pull something, if we get it shipped out, I can just grab what I need and it's always stocked. If something were to go down uh, halfway, I'm replenishing the boxes. Same thing with the bubble mailers, same thing with the, um, the poly mailers, uh, packing, packing paper, everything that I need is on this rack, ready to rock and roll. I never have to stop what I'm doing and go out into the, go out and get something during while I'm shipping because that is a waste of time and it's a pain in the butt. So shipping supplies, get your shipping supplies. So the fifth thing I wish I knew before starting one night is time management, better time management, guys. Whatnot is an absolute beast of a reselling platform. And if you don't get your ducks in a row, you're gonna regret it. I work a full-time job. I do this part-time. And I finally, we finally got it to a point to where the time management doing these Whatnot shows is what works for me. It could be different from you. It's, this is what works for me. During the week, I'm uploading the stuff on Whatnot for the shows that I'm, we're gonna be doing on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we do all of our shipping and that works for us. Sometimes we sprinkle in a show on Thursday, but we still do all the shipping on Sunday just because it's easier that way. So you need to get all your ducks in a row, find out what works when show works best for you and um, go from there because man, it is a beast. But guys, don't be afraid to work hard because it will pay off at the end. So time management, get your ducks in a row. So the sixth thing I wish I knew before starting Whatnot is taking advantage of the Whatnot community. Guys, there are plenty of sellers here on Whatnot and they all want you to succeed and be part of a Whatnot reselling community. Get with like-minded people. They're gonna help you grow. Um, one thing, um, I've met so many amazing Whatnot resellers here on the Whatnot app to a point to where we all know each other. Uh, we all support each other. When they have a show, we make sure to shout them out. When I have a show, they shout me out or I'll shout them out. It's amazing. One of the things that could help you grow is being part of this community. Raid trains are important. If you don't know what a raid train is, Whatnot does an amazing, has an amazing feature that whenever you end a show, when somebody ends a show, you can send all the people that are watching your show or watching a show to another person that is currently having a show. So that's where the raid train factor comes in. So you can organize um, a set number of time and a set number of people that are just gonna be uh, doing a show back to back to back to back. Um, I know that we had started a raid train every Thursday to where we have anywhere between five to like eight people. And when one show ends, we send them all to the next person. When that person is done, they send an all to that person and so on and so forth. So that kind of helps um, kind of sprinkle seeds and sprinkle maybe followers that you may have to other people and other people they may have to your show and you guys all succeed in the long run so take advantage of the one community build relationships um hang out with like-minded people in this space and you're not going to regret it it's a game changer and i, th I think what now has like the best community of resellers you got to think guys again 
whatnot as a selling platform is not like all the other platforms it's a 60 percent reselling platform 40 percent social networking site so make sure you socially network to really take advantage of all the benefits that the platform has for you as a seller for you guys say hi everybody put down in the comments all the people here on whatnot on the whatnot community say hi to youtube we'll put this in our youtube channel for sure so uh really cool see look at look at all this shout out to sid shout out to joe nicole with i flip that shout out to jill so the seventh thing i wish i knew before starting whatnot and i think is the most important one out of all of them is being consistent with whatnot guys if you want to do something to the fullest potential you have to be consistent consistency is key whatnot youtube growing your social media just growing your business overall you have to be consistent so what does that look like for whatnot in being consistent always every week if you can have a show you have to let the people know that you are selling stuff you can't just pop up at a random time and expect people to be there you have to give them a certain schedule say hey this time at seven o'clock every saturday i'm selling stuff schedule your shows way in the future if you're not going to have that show that day once you're once, once you get there reschedule it it's okay so people can bookmark the show but consistency is key guys always have your show at the same time or if not let the people know that hey i'm going to be having a show on this day i'm going to be not having a show on this day let the people that are constantly in your stream know when and when not you're going to have a show but be consistent every week every two days every three days whatever works for you once a month be consistent let the people know that you're going to be on selling stuff it's an absolute game changer you're not going to regret it and that's going to make you a successful whatnot seller i know with me um first starting off it was a little shaky i was still trying to figure out all the other stuff that we talk about the shipping the the inventory the time management now that you have all those things all your ducks in a row consistency is going to be your friend and you're going to be an amazing whatnot seller all right guys so those are the seven things that i wish i knew before selling on whatnot or if you're selling on a whatnot right now and things aren't going the way that you like them to do and you need some tips those are the tips that i would recommend that help that's going to help you become a better whatnot seller so with that being said if you are not already a whatnot seller there is a link below in the description that's going to get you approved automatically to become a whatnot seller and if you click on the link it's going to help me as well down in the description below there is a link also if you've never purchased anything on whatnot it's going to give you 15 free dollars and it's going to help me as well so guys i hope that you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up it's going to go it's going to help me it's going to help the video in the algorithm if you want to come and help the sport support this video please give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know, has anything that you've experienced, any tips that you may want, or you want me to expand on any other tips on this video, please put them down in the comments below. And like always, my name is Ray, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side. See y'all. God bless. Peace.